Ranch headquarters where we live. It took us years of work and war and trouble to get this cow range whipped, and we thought we had it done. Then one night a strange thing happened that we didn't know how to explain. We saw no harm in it then, but a long time afterward we knew the greatest danger of our lives came on us as this sun went down. <laughs> Come this way, or them quail would have flown before now. Must be lower down. Pestering the horses. Oh, that ain't nothing but that coon cat fixing to raid my cook shack again. All right, we'll get us a coon cat. Awful lot of prowling around out there, it seems to me. Yeah, that boat whistle trying to outguess that coon cat. You hear the old fool shotgun in a minute. A coon cat wouldn't set foot in that kitchen. Coon cats are too clean. There it goes. Hey, that was Frank 45. Oh, now, honestly, what a bunch of knotheads. We get worse around here every day. Better let the boys handle it, Abby. Who, then? What was your theory shooting out that window? What was your theory shooting that shatter? Thought I'd seen something. Me too. Hey, that darn coon cat's learned how to light a lamp. <laughs> the 
Hey, you better get your hands up. Oh, I'm gonna. What you got, Dixie? Come on in. Watch out whose head you're shooting off, too. A fine tune cat. Who are you, Billy the Kid? Nobody you ever heard of. Feeling your way to California, huh? I've been working in Martha. Who first, Sonny? Sawmill? No sawmill in Martha. <laughs> Huh? I ought to... Hold it, Frank. What do we seem to have caught? We call it a coon cat. Oh, leave off, will you, fellas? Better come with me, coon cat. See how things look from the house. Bring the lamp closer, Megan. This is healing, all right. Is it bad? been bad. No wonder, popping out of the ground that way. Must have come up under a rock. Teach him to look where he's popping. <laughs> Smart, ain't you? What's the matter with him? You know what I think? This boy's killed somebody. We'll find out who in the morning. I won't be around. Me? Got one more hunk of that poor excuse for bread. Go look in the table drawer, Abby. Might need something from us. I think you're right. In the bread, Megan. Now go over the door. Give a good pull on that bell rope. Sit down. You can't hold me here. We can sure try. Draw back, Smith, son. Now, we don't want to hurt you. Not under a clean floor. What's the matter? Where's those old handcuffs from the time I was deputy? Well, I show them all the day around here somewhere. Well, dig them up. Lock this critter to a bunk. Tomorrow's Sunday, but I'll back trail them right after Bible. We'll hang on to him. Come on, you. Come on, the man said. I heard him. Abby? Is that coffee still hot? Should be, Paul. Uh, I got them so they'll go on. I don't know whether they'll ever come over. Now. That's all right. They'll look good on. Hey, watch out for that lamp. <laughs> Put them on it. Put them on it. Settle down, boy. And why take ye thought of rain? Consider the lilies of the field. Hey, how they... Abby, where are you? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. Hey. Consider how that fat head bellers. What's only Pat Farrell? I say. Abigail! Hey, Abby, I brought you. Here. Where's the body? Now, you know Paul was reading Bible on Sunday. Sunday? It is. Well, can't stop now. Take me, Abby. Be back for dinner. Come back here. Say, I had a horse thief the other night. Run him off before I got anything. Is that your horse thief? You? The great big Indian, I think. Then shut up and sit down. It's so dark, I couldn't even see the gun. Shut up. Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They toil not, neither do they spin. Yet I say unto you that Solomon, in all his glory, was not arrayed like one of these. Wherefore, if God so clothe the grass of the field, which today is, don't you hurry. Oh, no, yes, you sure you don't know him, Pat? Why do you think your horse thief was an Indian if it was so dark? Hey. He's in there. He might look like a tall Indian. I was never near your ponies. No, you weren't. That's my lariat he's got there. What'd you take that for? I am to get me a horse the same way everything's taken from me. That's what I took it for. If he's so desperate to steal a horse, it's because he's done something worse. Boat Whistle, fetch my team. Back trailing's gonna be rough if he's been through them rocks. I got a better idea. Hold this. I ain't gonna wait on you hand and foot. Did you ever see anything so dead set to go free? 
Just one steady, patient series of wild jumps. We'll try it yet once more. Hey, there goes your one. Sure, why'd you think I'd get the rope for? Hey, Dixie. Yeah. Frank's lobby get kind of rough with that kid. I'll go see you, partner. You better not lose any time. for more. There's no end to it. No. I give up. Well, it's about time. So this is your better idea, huh? Yes, and it works. Shut up and listen. You'll fight it now no matter what I do. Fine what? There's a corpse at the wagon road. I killed Jim Shell. Where's the body? On the floor of the trading post. There you are. <laughs> Deathly, that thing can look when you know it's inside. Where'd you bed down? Over there. Inside them old busted walls. Planned the robbery there, huh? It was my own money. Yeah, what was Jim Shell doing with it? Well, this road has a bad name. Said he better keep it for me until morning. Good idea. No, sir. After a while, them two strangers moved in on me and ate up my grub. So I thought I'd better make a night march and get rid of them. This traitor, this Jim Shell, he, he wouldn't give me my money back. He swore he never heard of no money. And two strangers come stood in the door and heard it all. So you shot the traitor? Not right then. I come back out to my fire there on the ruin. Those strangers followed me. That foreign talking one, he, he kept pawing through my stuff. And the other one, the one that kept smiling, he come and stood over me. Why don't you stick a gun in his belly? You got a right to your own. I got no gun. We loan you a gun. I wouldn't want to shoot him. Who said shoot him? You just go in, hold a gun on him, and say, I want my money. We'll back you up. Sure, we'll be there. Get that gun out of the pack, Roper. You know the one I mean. Hey, wait a minute. You want your money, don't you? It sounded like it ought to work, so I took the gun they gave me and went back inside the trading post. Jim Shell was over by the fireplace fixing a pack set. You again, huh? You got it, you know you got it. Them two old agents give you that. I gotta have my money. Not men enough to try it themselves. Have to send a boy in the head, huh? 
I gotta have it! Are you sure that gun's loaded? I don't know where I was at first when I come to. I thought I was blind. And pretty soon I could see. Then I remembered and I knew I'd killed him. I didn't know what them two strangers wanted to do about it. I couldn't think. All I knew was I'd better run. It's a good thing I did run. I thought you said the kid was dead. The horses. I kept but they tracked me a long way. That's why I got so hungry. I wonder why they'd do that. They'd be blamed, wouldn't they? Unless they could show I done it. Are those two strangers as guilty as the boy? They planned the robbery, used the boy because it was handy. They gotta be tracked down. I was stringing that across this range a flea couldn't get through. I'll rouse up every rancher for 90 miles around. They're probably a long way further off than 90 miles. That's what we gotta make sure of. Take a look at the ruin, Frank. Hey, wait a minute. Hey, come here, boy. You see him? Yep. Look for yourself. Dust. Inches deep. Everywhere. But there has... Maybe there was a dust storm. Hasn't been any. Or the place has been deserted for months. I'll tell you something else. There hasn't been any fire inside of that ruin. No ashes, no tracks, nobody's been near it. I can even show you a sharp stone in the fireplace where I, where I leaned and had a move. You know something? I think the boy believes it. Don't you know why? Why, this kid's crazy. He's no more in his right mind than a hydrophobic skunk. Yeah, makes it tough to know what to do with them. You believe I'm out of my mind? I don't know. Look, I could saw him off on, on the sheriff of Marfa. No, not till I know what he's done. All right, look, I'll, I'll give him a horse, some kind of a horse. We'll, we'll give him a head start and run the heck out of him. No, I'm not going to do that either. Why? Because we need him to find out get the bottom of this thing. Well, you can't just keep him around. Who can? You can. With the girls there? Well, I got something to say about that. I don't think you have. Why, you, you can tankerous old moss horn. You can't tell what a kid like this is liable to do. Hey, did you find it? Find what? That there dead fella that was killed. Ain't any. Trading post been locked up for months. Well, why would the boy say he killed somebody if Now, how did? should I know? You'll have a chance to find out, though. Your old man's taking a minute to live with you. Oh, he must be fooling. Well, he ain't. I hollered again it, but he sunk his teeth into me. He went round and round. Oh, Pat, if you've been fighting with Pa again, I... Well, did you find out anything? Did you talk Did you find out anybody? nothing about nothing? Well, I'm the only one to take care of you. Look at your men, folks. Two old cripples and a couple of little tramps. We still got guns. <laughs> Who did shoot them? See that male holding that dishpan? Maybe that answers your question. Why, you? Well? Oh, I can't hit you, honey. Oh, I can hit you. That's the trouble. 
No time to leave go. All right, I'll leave go if you will. Pa said all along you were nothing but a loud yell with hands. Hey, you want me to call off the barn woman? Well, you want your barn warm, don't you? Well, I didn't put on a new roof just to sit and admire by myself. Oh, I'm going through with it. And so are you. Now ask me who we've got to handle a shotgun. Come on, honey. I want to show you something. Bread and butter. Bread and butter. Well, I see we're still going to the party. See Big Jim here? Been a Big Jim in our family for a long time. My grandpappy rode in Kentucky on the first big gin. Yes, you told me 20 times. And this horse here is the only living stud of the big gin line. If he should stumble, I'd go lame. Hasn't been hit on the head lately, has he? I guess every man thinks his horse is the best. That's probably right. That's the best horse right there. Did you ride your mother? Who did? Well, I'm going to keep him here for a while. Boy, you're going to do odd jobs around the place, on foot. Keep off the ponies. I'll let you have the run of the place, for now. He's been dragged. Yes, and he'll be dragged again every time he breaks. You go help your sister. I never heard such a lie. This creepy kid. You don't know half how creepy he is. Lord Whistle, I want you to hear something. Boy, tell him what those two men looked like you saw at the wagon road. Give him a smiling man. Well, he was... He was sort of black looking. Gone. He had a cast in his eyes, so you couldn't tell which eye was pointing where. A smile on his face like he was seeing you dead. Sort of a slight smile. Great land of fury. Now give him the other, the one the smiling man called Roper. The well, Roper? Well, he was sort of short. Thick set. Foreign way of talking. Well, sir, in all my life, I ain't never heard nothing like that. You recognize him? Why, how could he be mistook? That sliding smile. You got them both perfect. Now we're getting somewhere. No, he never saw him the wagon road or any other place on this earth. Well, why didn't he see him? Tell him, Lord Whistle. Because both of them men are dead. They died fighting horse and me at the fence more than 15 years ago. I see something. Abby, why don't you and Pat live here after you're married? Don't you feel kind of funny going over to the old Jessa place? This isn't the Jessa place anymore. It's Pat's and my place. Why should I feel funny? Oh, that's what makes you so jumpy lately. Everything over there belongs to the Jessops who are dead. The graveyard's right in back of the house. And everybody in it died at the fence war fighting us and hating us. Well, I admit I... Listen, there is something wrong.
Without no heads. There's awful, wasn't it, Frank? I was sure scared. Won't you never believe nothing I say? No, sir, and I'm getting sick and tired of this spook business. So you get that bucket of water and bring it on in the house. Well, forget about it. Let's think about the barn warming, and there'll be my wedding. It's the strangest thing. It's gone now. For a minute there, I never felt in worse danger in my life. I'll blow out the lamp and come to bed. In home, home of take the train for the wagon road train. Got a pretty little gal in Carson. And I'm 20 miles. In the rain. Stand still, will you? You want to look pretty for the barn warming, don't you? Oh, I ain't needed there. Well, no one's aiming to stay here with you, that's for sure. Turn around. Hey, Sonny. Where'd you get these boots? Glass are given to me. Uh-huh. Boat whistles? Huh? Where's Tago? Just wasting horse flesh tracking down them spooks. Old fool ain't no catch nothing. He's blind in a bat in a barrel. What spooks? Two chaps seen them sitting out there in the dead of night without any heads. Well, you said no heads. Abby, there's something hanging on this kid's shirt tail like grim death to a tax lien. And do you think he'll switch from his one sane lie? They ain't after me. They would have rode on long ago. Those fellas want to hurt you people here. What fellas? I don't know who your enemies be, mister. But boy, you got them. Why don't they drop a bullet through one of these windows and be done with it? Oh, they'd never get out of this basin if so much as Megan got away. Every rancher within 90 miles would be on him. Horse Davis said so himself. All right, take that off. Come on, Boat Whistle, show me the track. All right, if you got to, but any answer there is they're standing right here on this freezeway. Now, honey, if you haven't seen a back... Who did that to you? He wouldn't believe nothing I said anyway. Your old man, huh? Well, kept pounding on me till I run off. What was he beating you about? Body was full of liquor, mostly. I suppose you robbed him, seeing you was leaving. Sure. Took seven dollars for the seven years I worked there. What in heaven's name did he hit you with? Trace chain. Nobody uses a trace chain here. Only a drag rope, huh? Not anymore, I can promise you that. Megan, give him a hat. Hold him. Wait a minute, let's see which... Yeah, try that blue one on him. No, no, that ain't much good. Here, yeah, let me see him. Where's that and that? There's one. That, that ought to look pretty good on him. No, that makes him look too dutish. We ought to have to cut that ribbon off him. That's no good. Here, we can get rid of that. Here, try it. Now, that ought to be all right. Try this one. Listen, this isn't the A girl's hat, it's my hat. I have another. Let's go, Boat Whistle. Hey, Sonny. That's for town.
again without being told, I'll have you horsewhipped. Now get out. for being in here. Everybody's always giving both barrels around here. Hmm? Trouble is our home. We've been beat over the head with gun wars and dry ups and burnouts and blizzards and every other ding dang thing that wasn't useful. Are we gonna let a doggy kid throw it? Well, it's not that I'm throwing it. Saturday night is the bomb warming. After that party and two more, I will have been to three. I don't want to hear another ding dang thing about coon cat trouble or any other kind. I'm going to a party. Yes, Yeah. You two sprouts getting this yeah, right board. We're going to take off to that party on the high low. Hurry up now. Come on, get in here. Help me up, Coon Cat. Come on, get in there. You ready? Yes. Yeah. Oh, Whistle, you didn't shave. I did so shave. Feel your face. Mm, I won't do it. Not I shave. <laughs> oh, great land of fury. Get up out of here. <laughs> for 20 years, and if there's something I follow in us, I'd know it. Then you know it. Those are the walls of our first house, the one that was burned during the Fence War. Used to be a row of hollyhocks along there. Why, oh, see them little specks of dust. That ain't nothing but range horses. Sure. Range horses? Running loose with people on them. I got something I want to show you up the road a piece. You'll be interested. Get on now. Get on. This here's the line of the famous death fence, like you know all about. I know what I heard from you. And a whole lot more. In a minute, I'm going to prove that you do. But maybe there's one thing that you don't know. You see all them bones here? Yes, sir. That's what's left of a great herd. Horse Davis's herd. You know how them cattle died? No. Well, every few years we get a blizzard from the north that drives our cattle before it. They always took shelter up in them canyons ahead until our feud with the Jessup family begun. Nobody knows how it started. Oh, some little thing. But one thing led to another, and Miles Jessup built this fence here. That year, the blizzard come, and our cattle piled up on this fence a hundred deep, as far as the eye could see. Them that didn't die where you see them now had their hoofs froze off. They walked around on the stumps till they fell down. I've heard the story a hundred times. 
Well, now you know what your Miles Jessup done that we had to fight him. And the fight was never finished while there was a Jessup left and Miles Jessup hung dying on his own fence. Right over there by that post. Hey, look up there! I'm getting sick and tired of you hollering look, too. Oh, it was what you got to. They're there. Oh. You do now, huh? <laughs> yeah. It's funny. But it's a mean kind of funny if you're in my place. Anyway, Coon Cat, I saw him. See what I'm up against? I do see. Mm hmm You're awful anxious to change the subject, ain't you? Caught you knowing a little bit too much, didn't I? You kind of give the whole thing away. Give what away? Miles Jester that died right here. You described him to me to the last hair when you spoke of the smiling man. The smiling man and Miles Jessup are one and the same. I only told you who I saw. And the Roper. That was the nickname of a Cajun fella. Thick set foreign talking man, just like you said. Boat whistle shot him in the throat. Pa said he bled like a flash flood. His brother came over and grabbed him up in his arms, trying to close his throat with his hands until he died. Right over there by that mesquite. And that was the man you say you remember? Sonny, they was dead when you were two years old. I said I saw him because I did. Am I supposed to think that dead men walked? No, dead men don't walk. You were speaking of men you heard tell of so much that you even knew their faces and the way they talked. Now, what I want to know is, who built that end to you? Nobody did. I saw him. I saw him more than one. Take the hand of fuel. I give one. Come on, get in the buck, boy. We're going to the park. You know some horse? There's people here tonight from all over the world and part Arkansas. No, I see. No. What do you have, car? Look at this thing. Hey, Abby. Yes. You all right? Abby, come on. I'm coming. Where's Abby? She go to sleep in it. Well, who's this? Now, you've seen me in a skirt before. Well, I guess I can get used to it. Oh, Pat, I get so tired trying to be a man. Oh, well, that's all over with. From now on, you're going to wear dresses every day. And I love it. Where are your father and mother? I haven't seen them. Well, they ain't here yet. Then you didn't send them word. Oh, right? sure I did. You gave them the wrong day. I even sent Art Sims this morning to fetch him. Don't forget it's a half day's ride by the wagon road. It seems awfully funny. Oh, come on, they'll be here. Let's have some fun. Hey, come on, everybody. You've eaten the barbecue. Let's dance. Come on, Bill, honey. Come on, honey. Come on, honey. Come on, honey. Oh, join him and circle of eight. Break his trail along in that line of the jet behind. Your left hand in like the dinner gong, and the spinning wheel rolls right along. Now back with your right, you done gone wrong. Now over your shoulder with your left arm, and wrap him up like a ball of yarn, and a dozy do not want to harm. Now meet your honey and pat her on the head and promenade, just what I said. Now over your 
right shoulder with your left arm and wrap them up like a ball of yarn and a dough she don't want to no harm. Now meet your honey and pat her. Come on, Coon Cat, join in this. It's lots of fun. Oh, I can't see no sense in it. The only sense is I want you to. Now you know where. I don't know how. I know that there can only count up to three. And if she can do it, I guess you can. Come on. Well. Well. Honey, your partner. Your corner's all. Wave to the pretty girl across the hall. Side two couples forward and back. Hey. Wasn't the one Jessup left alive, a young one? Bob Jessup? Yeah. He was 13. I know it. He's the cool cat. That's Bob Jessup dancing with me. I said Bob Jessup would be about 30, and he's spending a life sentence up in love with you. What I said! Your old cow kicked in the yearling ball, swing you opposite across the hall. Same two gents, forward and back. I want to tell you something. We loved our flowers. That's the nicest thing anyone ever did. I don't know what you mean. All right, but I'll tell you something else. Those were the first flowers we ever got in all our lives. Turn your back and spit on the wall and swing you up and across the hall. Bird, bird, forward and back. guitar right back here. <laughs> I wrote this myself. <laughs> what key we gonna do it, Larry? So get along, get along, oh Baldy. Take the trail of the wagon road train. Got a pretty little gal in Parson. And I'm 20 miles from Carson in the rain. Now, Jack, don't go back to Carson. I'm afraid you've lost your place. Twenty cowboys. See? The Isn't it nice just to be people? I never knew no people like you before. Well, you know us now. Galloway. So be long, be long, oh, Baldy. Turn around there. Take me over the funeral rain. Cause a poor cowboy's heart is breaking Twenty miles from Carson in the rain Now Jack, don't go back to Carson That cow will never keep that day There's a million men and all Passed through Carson since the fall I'd say you got back too late So keep alone
See him now. No. Those spooks really get around, don't they? I was looking for your pa to tell him they was here. Oh, Coon Cat, what are we going to do with you? With me? Well, you people can't even take care of yourselves. Those fellas ain't after me. I'm only in their way. Then why are you running? I can't help you people because you won't believe me. And I ain't staying around to get blamed. You leave that be. You're not fit to go running around loose. You'll get yourself hurt feeding this way. That's my business. And I'm making it mine. Now get yourself on inside unless you want 20 ropers on your heels. Come on, I said. Hey! 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 Hey, what happened to your heart? Well, I don't know, Rudolph. He come riding in here a while ago, just as fast as he could. Well, you just had some baby kids. Uh-huh, somebody found out something. What's up to us? I'll find out. Wait at the horses. Where was my mom? Found her in the kitchen. Like as if she was at the stove when it come. Your father was out in the crowd. Looked like he got it as he rode in. How long have they been dead? Maybe a week. Pat, dear, I'm so sorry. So now we know what it was the boy done. Those sweet old people. Let her come in. When was you over on the War Paint River? I was never on the War Paint River. It's a dry creek near the wagon road. Don't you remember a shack and a few sheds? Just a half a day's travel to the east? I must have passed a dozen places like That's that. That's enough. The boy has the right to speak. All right. I want you to tell the people to go home. All right. Pass the words quite as you can. I want you girls to go home, too. I think you'd better take it. What are you going to do? I'm going to hang him. I can't let you do it, Pat. What? First, I need to know how this boy can describe two men he never saw. But they was here, tonight. We was face to face. You can tell them. You saw them. You had to see them. He told me you saw them. My pa took a bullet through his lungs standing by you. You forgotten that? He was the only man outside of your hired hands who stood with you at the death fence. Yeah, that's true. But the fact still stands that we know nothing whatever about this boy. He was so afraid to show his face, he risked your guns rather than ask for grub. Frantic for a horse, frantic to get out of the country. I know that. Remember what you said. There's been a crime, a bad one. We gotta find out what it was. I said that. You caught him a week ago tonight. It was a week ago my folks was killed. Not a half day's right away. We found out everything you've been asking, and you know it. I don't even know the boy was there. You never will if you hold out for an eyewitness. Two people saw him, and they're dead. 
Horse. Cooncat was there. I never thought for a minute that that boy had done one thing that was wrong. But it was me that fixed his boots. Where'd you get those boots? Ranch, you give them to me. Pull them off. Drag, yeah. My pa's brand. Well, it was him giving them to me. Sonny, what'd you pull the stitches out for? Oh, I knew people say I stole them. I've been wearing cast off. <coughs> That's fine. I am not. And I won't be able to know a lot more than I know now. Well, all I've got to know is who killed my ma and pa. And I know. Well, I don't. Mr. Davis, I swear to you, he'll never leave this place. He will if I do. Pat, he's right. Are you standing with him or with me? I'm standing with myself. leave with that insane killer. Not one of you nor any critter of your brand will ever set foot on this place again. Oh, Pat, I don't believe you. And you can have the fence back, right where it was, and quick! Walk out that door. Abby, get in the buggy. We'll need your horse. Every cow we got that can walk them, selling off the cattle. Oh, you old fool, you ain't gonna get through in the teeth of winter. I'll lose every credit I got if I hold them here. And you'll get the Dodge all right with about one cow left, and she'll be a skull on a stick. The rest of the herds are as good as this one, we'll get through. Oh, Pa, you're throwing away everything we got in the world for a wretched boy who doesn't even want it. Oh, I'm not doing it for the boy. Either a thing is right or it's wrong, there's no halfway. Pa, why don't you take Megan to Martha with you? You ready in seven seconds? I sure can. All right, I'll send down 12, 14 trail hands. Fast I can find them and you can start them rounding up. Oh, this is going to be the end of this brand. You know that, don't you? I want every critter I own bunched and ready to start when I get back. Only Tommy was alive. That's when they broke this outfit's back, when they killed that little kid. Pa didn't say we were beat. No, he didn't say it, but I know as well as I know anything in the world. That fence would come out whistling if your brother was alive today. But he ain't. Now get going. Get up out of here. Get out of here. I don't know. Mr. Davis sent us to Martha. Put your stuff in the bunkhouse and grab a snack. You know what your pappy would say to this? He'd say it's too bad she's here instead of Tommy. Now lead out the wagon. You know something? I ain't about to. I'll go if you'll let me. I can cook all right. 
and stay here with this loony kid. Take that carbon off my saddle. You think I'm Calamity Jane? Well, now, it seems like that you think that you are. Abby, Pat Farrell's brought on just as many cowboys as we got here. Only his is roughs and longhorns he ain't like these cowpokes. You're on the chuck wagon, Dixie. Don't you do it, Dixie. You ought to know who's ramrodding this outfit by now. He knows. Man. Roll out the team, Dixie. Abby, Abby, honey, won't you just listen to me? Come on, boys, let's go. Abby, you don't know what you're doing. We're going to tear down that fence. No, no. Great land of fuel. Oh, no. oh, no. Burn them all, boys. I don't want a post left standing. Yeah, yeah, Abby. the smoke we're making. It's bound to be seen. Yeah. Well, it has been seen. Right above that notch where... Yes, I see them. Holy cow! my lucky charm. I'm not so sure. They blame him for everything. They don't even believe their own eyes when he tells them what they see. I'll be sorry when they hang him. I don't like him. He'll bring Polk Whistle now. Go to the horses. Have them ready when you hear my gun. Where's them cottages? Go get them cottages. Go on. Just tell me one thing. Couldn't Miles Jessup be alive? Well, how could he be alive? Maybe only wounded. He was buried by our own boys. Well, maybe you buried the wrong one. 
Jasper, maybe he'd come to and bust himself out of the ground. Great land of fury. I'll go get them cottages myself. I'm down here, please don't go in there. Please don't go in there. Oh, Sonny, no wonder folks are saying you're crazy. Hello, Boat Whistle. My, haven't forgotten, I see. Mm -hmm. I was Jessup. What's the matter, Boat Whistle? Didn't you never expect to see a Jessup again? Not this side of the grave. I remember what fun you had putting us there. No, Miles, it was only... to stop the fire when he saw you. He was coming to you when his horse was killed. The dead horse? Yeah. You could hear the horse scream for a mile. Pat had to put a bullet in his head. Thank you, Jim. I want all hands saddled at half past four. You throw him breakfast at quarter of? I don't know nothing about Fred, Mr. Davis. Give him hard tack. By daylight, I want the wagon road closed both ways. And the man and Marpa, and all trails stopped off. That way I'll have a chance to head off that boy. Yes, sir. Swelling? Beats quite a bit. It's all my fault. Boat whistle lies dead out there because I couldn't see what was plain and clear. What's plain and clear? That boy's a Jessup. There's no doubt in the world. I don't believe it. Who was killed first? The barrels, then boat whistle. Both with me all through the trouble. But that doesn't explain That it. boy has even memorized the faces of the men that were killed. Tries to make us think we were haunted. There's your giveaway. Coontat wasn't even armed. Where's the house gun? Now go to your room. I have all the contention I can stomach without a lot of sass spread on it. Someone has to go to Pat Farrell. He's got to be told I was wrong. Afraid to tell him yourself? break between you and Pat was all my fault. And the fence fight and all. I'll stand by what I did. Abby, there's no more reason for fighting now. Men don't fight about a reason. They fight about they got in a fight. Pat won't. Nobody else will. If only you hadn't come back here. Oh, it's never any different. 
But I had to tell you. Oh, you hadn't told that whopper about the wagon load. Oh, I wished a million times I'd never spoke. He even took Pa out there and swore he'd find a body. Yeah, no doubt why it wasn't there. You still claim there was one? Of course there was. I know what happened to it. Could have happened that... That's what I came back to tell you. There's no other hope of waking you people up. You talking to somebody in there, Megan? I'm making a star count. 792, 793, well, 793. Well, count the 50s like cattle. Get to bed. All right. Quick, tell me. Those strangers, the smiling man with the rope. They hid the body. They shoveled dust in there and brushed out their tracks. Why would they do that if you killed them? Oh, I never done it, Megan. I know that now. They fired across me after I was knocked out. That's why they covered it up. Men like that wouldn't bother. They'd just ride on in a hurry. They bothered because they weren't ready to ride on. They came here to do something, and they covered it up so they could stay and get it done. Oh, we could only prove it. A corpse will prove it. Even if everything's like you say, we couldn't find the body. They could have buried him any place in a, in a hundred miles. Or they could have buried him right there. Maybe he's been there all this time. I gotta go there and bust in. I figure I only got until morning. A lot better bet for you is just to ride until your horse drops. Well, if I don't find anything, then I will go on. I've got to stop and try this one more thing. I'm coming with you. Oh, no, you're not. I only told you so you'd know what to expect. Coon cat. go back. Your father will follow you. He'll follow me anyway. I left a message telling him where we went. Oh, great guns, Megan. Why don't you do that for? I'll never have time to find anything now. Of course you will if we get started. Ain't there no way to get rid of you? No. Can't you see you'll need me when he gets here? I'll help you all I can. Come on. No, sir. You ain't going. Oh, yes, I am. Oh, no, you ain't. You want a bat? Yeah, anything. You're not going and that's fine. Go to the end of your own. Here. Keep your eyes peeled now. Nothing pull? Of course he will. All right, take it away. Almost morning. I can see a little streak of mustard in the east. 
It's what those brush wolves are singing at. Oh, there's no use going on. There's nothing here. But what the blood stain proves? Oh, they'd say he spilled something. Well, what are we gonna do? I guess I gotta run. I was hoping too hard, I guess. I was sure it was here, but it ain't. No, it ain't here. It's in the canyon under a ton of cave down dirt. Someday a flash flood will wash up a skull about 20 miles downstream. But not soon. <laughs> Get after him. To fix that, I could do it with my own hands. Glass in the windows? Sure, I know how to do things like that. I know how to cook and make rugs and everything. Oh, I don't want to think about it. Why? Nothing good can happen. I'm a murderer, everybody thinks. I don't. I know. I, I just keep thinking of only things that come different. But they are different. They stood right there and said he did it. He killed Jim Shell, and you're in the clear. Oh, if Pa had only come. He's got to go. He's never let anybody down in his whole life. They're back. Smiling, man, anyway. I thought I heard wheels. We'll hear them now. There's a rope. Where are you going? Look inside. Keep back. Come on. Horse Davis, come all right. He's only a little way out. Alone? Two men with him. Pat Farrell's coming up. Take the horses around behind. Everything's gonna be all right. Yeah, everything's gonna be all right. There they are. Hold your fire. Let him come, you fool. Easy shot. I've waited for this many years. If you shoot before I tell you, I'll kill you in the same half second. Hey! Hey! I got your word. I sent no word for you to come here. 
Abby thought you might need me. Well, I don't. Them killers will hold their flyers well nobody can miss. You gotta let him know. That's no good. Pa'd think you were signaling. Not if I put it close enough to his ear. That shot came from the woods. Nah, the echo fooled you. From the ridge. When he's tired of that, he'll come on again. Dixie, Frank, throw a couple of shots down there to hold his interest. I'm going around the long way by the canyon. on the ridge. Yeah. I thought you'd remember me. They told me Bob Jessup was in the pen. That's right. Or I'd have been here long ago. Him I recognized that. I saw his brother die in his arms. The fence. But you? You must have been about 13 then. You remember me. Oh, I know your father. This is like as if Miles Jessup walked from the grave. Yeah, exactly. Be without friends, without a home. 